Well, hey friends, it's Mandy from Sweetly Home. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I love to make videos about all things heart and home. And today we're doing a video a little bit more on the home front. I've teamed up with my friend Morgan from A Joyful Home and we are going to share with you a few different things that we are now making from scratch. So after you're done watching my video, I would love if you would click the description box and head over to Morgan's channel. She is so sweet. She is just an encourager. She's gentle. She's kind. And I think you guys will really like her. She does a lot of videos about um, natural living and debt-free living. Um, and she is homeschooling. She is just, she's a peach. I think you'll really enjoy her. So this was Morgan's idea and guys, when she talked to me about it, I like jumped on the bandwagon because we over the past few years have made a lot of strides to live a bit of a more natural kind of existence. I started to get really aware of different things that were in the products that we were using on our bodies, um, that were in our food and they concerned me. Um, and so we have just started to make shifts into moving into a more natural lifestyle. And it's been sort of a baby step process. We by no means have done all of this overnight, but it's, when we implement one change and it's going well, then we start implementing another and another and another. And some of these things are no big deal. And other ones have taken a little bit of time to, um, to work out and, and be right for us. So anyways, I'm going to share with you a handful of things today that we are now making from scratch and doing the whole DIY thing with. Okay, so one of the first changes that we made is with our laundry detergent. I've been now making our homemade laundry detergent for almost two years. I think this summer will be two years and I will never go back ever. There is no way that I would start paying for laundry detergent again. First of all, it's filled with a lot of chemicals. Even the really pure kind that you can get, are, chances are that there's a lot of additives and things that you don't want in your skin. I've been using an app called the Think Dirty app and also the Environmental Working Group EWG app. And these two apps help you rate your products, like your household products and things that you're putting on your skin, on a scale of 1 to 10, and they let you know all of the junk that happens to be in your products. And there's many natural cleaners and natural products that are actually filled with a lot of bad for you chemicals. Laundry detergent happens to fall big time into that category. So a couple of years ago, I found a really fantastic recipe. I actually shared it here on my channel, um, and we have just not turned back. Uh, the original recipe that I share with you on my channel, we are using Fells Naphtha Soap. We have since gone ahead and are actually using Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Um, we just go ahead and grate it. I use five bars of that. And we use the unscented kind. So our laundry detergent is so pure and so good. And guys, it cleans really, really well. We use our homemade soap on everything. Towels, on... Um, my son threw up in his car seat the other day. We use that on his car seat. Um, my husband is a plumber. He works in mines, like industrial plumbing. Um, and so his clothes are really nasty. Uh, and we use it on that. And everything comes out beautiful. We have hard water. And again, I just would never, ever go back. Another thing that we have made from scratch and that I really love is our hand soap. So a couple years ago, I was dealing with a lot of really painful sores on my hands. Um, I realized now, looking back, it had a lot to do with the hand soap that I was using, the mop water that I was using because I hand mop my or hand scrub my floors. Um, and my hands were just being torn apart by all of these chemicals. And recently, I actually posted a picture on Instagram about my hands. We had went to a restaurant, and I had to take my kids to the washroom twice, and so we used the soap in the bathroom, and sure enough, my hands broke out something fierce, and they were so cracked and painful. And it wasn't until we got rid of um, the fruity 
the hand soaps that we bought like at the cutesy little stores that I actually saw a difference in my hands and now I find that if I use hand soap anywhere else it's very drying and my hands get cracked and sore and it's, it's ugly. So I also have a recipe here on my channel about the hand soap that we make. It's just some Castile soap and distilled water and it works really really well. So another homemade DIY that we have been doing is hand sanitizer. So there's a chemical called triclosan and it is a really nasty pesticide um, and the US has recently outlawed it um, and companies had two years to get their act together to get this triclosan out of antibacterial products. Now just because triclosan is no longer able to be allowed into products some of us know that we're, we're stockpilers, so we have antibacterial soaps and we have antibacterial hand sanitizers and all of that jazz. Um, and so that triclosan could potentially be on our shelves in our, you know, overflow storage. And I just did not want to be a part of that. I did not want hormone disruptors in my products. I did not want any kind of garbage. Um, and so we now make our own hand sanitizer. It has um, some distilled water, it has um, oil in it, um, you can use vitamin E oil, I'm actually using jojoba right now because I don't have vitamin E, um, and it has essential oils, and these essential oils are um, really great for disinfection, so this is something that um, we make now ourselves too. Another thing that we make is homemade bread, so I just... I just got really aware of the ingredients that are in products a while ago um, and just lots of preservatives and lots of things that I don't really want to be consuming and I certainly don't want my kiddos to be consuming. Yeast bread was always a scary thing for me to make um, because yeast scared me. I'm like, I don't know how to like temperature, like, I don't know. But I decided to go for it and I've never looked back. I absolutely love making homemade bread. Nine times out of ten it turns out. Actually ten times out of ten it's always turned out. What am I saying? And it's delicious. My family absolutely devours it. Um, I could, can make a loaf and it could be gone in like a day or two. It is so good. We don't eat a ton of bread anymore. Anyways, um, but when we do, we make it homemade. We are actually making our own hand salves, whipped body butter, um, and sugar scrubs. So again, I, when it came to looking at the products that I was buying from the drugstore or wherever, um, I was horrified by some of the ingredients that were in these products. And if you are new to my story, I recently discovered that I have a tumor. Um, it is benign, but it is there and somehow a tumor grew in my body. And so I've been even more hyper aware about what I've been putting on my skin and into my body. Um, and what I am allowing into my home and environment. Um, it is said that 90% of cancers are not due to genetics, meaning they are environmental factors, the reason that you get these cancers. And um, that's scary. So I wanted to be really concerned about the products I'm placing on my skin because it is your largest organ and everything that you put on your skin gets absorbed into your body. So we just started experimenting and making um, whipped body butters so simple and sugar scrubs so easy. It is just some oil and sugar and then I add some essential oils to give it um, a beautiful fragrance. That's really, really easy. <laughs> Um, I do hope to share with you some of the recipes that um, we enjoy using here in our home. Um, so if you would like any like DIY type videos, please let me know because we are going to be, um, we're actually out of our body butter and I'm out of my sugar scrub, so it's actually time for me to make more, so I'd love to film that if you're interested. Um, yeah. The last thing that I want to talk to you about today that we are making from scratch is our homemade chicken broth. We've been doing this now for quite a while and it is so simple. It's as easy as throwing your chicken bones and some spices and some salt and pepper and onions and celery into a crock pot 
and letting it simmer overnight, cook, whatever. Um, and you are left with a delicious, gut healing, healthy, for your body, chicken stock. It is so good. Um, I love to actually, when if we get like a rotisserie chicken from Costco or the grocery store, I hang on to those bones once we have used all of the meat and I will actually put them in a, um, a freezer baggie, put them into the fridge or freezer and then when we are ready to, when I have a few carcasses, um, I'll make a big huge batch of chicken broth and that is what we actually did just the other day put some into the freezer and I've got two jars to go into the fridge to just drink throughout the week. Now, now I love these freezer jars from Ball. They are plastic. I only um, pour the chicken stock after it's actually sat in the fridge for a day or so um, and so it's nice and cool and I'm not putting a hot product into the plastic but I like them because they are shatterproof and going into the freezer. You just want to make sure that you leave about an inch of headspace and it does have a line on the actual jar itself that you can um, see where to stop putting your ingredients in and shove it into the freezer. Um, you could also use regular glass mason jars. You do not want to use a small mouth mason jar. You want a large, like a wide mouth mason jar. And again, you want to leave that headspace so that um, your product can expand once it freezes. The journey to living a toxin-free life and a toxin-free environment and home is a long journey. Um, for me it is anyways. Um, but bit by bit those baby steps are adding up and I'm seeing how we're saving an oodles of money because I'm not actually purchasing these things at the drugstore or at the grocery store. Um, I'm saving so much money. So my challenge for you at the end of this video is I challenge you to download either the Think Dirty app or the EWG app. And I challenge you to just scan three products in your home, whether it's cleaners, whether it is um, your facial moisturizer or your hand soap or whatever. I just challenge you to scan like three things and see what comes back. You'll be able to see on a scale of one to 10 how good it is for you um, and you'll also be able to see the ingredients in there and why it might not be good for you um, why it is why it's being flagged as potentially not good product for you so that's my challenge for you I'd be interested to hear um, if you do that and what you found out hopefully good things right hopefully good things so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please make sure to go check out Morgan's channel at A Joyful Home. You'll love her. And I'm anxious to hear what she is making from scratch and kind of DIYing. Doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. Trust me. It can be very simple and um, it, just be it just starts in becoming aware of what you're consuming and what you're putting on your body. So go download those, those apps, head over to Morgan's channel, leave me a comment down below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a really good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.